Hello, hello! It is Toy Thursday on the channel where we review a new toy for you today. I am really, really excited. Today we have some Netflix Ridley Jones characters. There, It's a collectible figure set. We've got Dudley, Fred, Ridley, Ismat, and Peaches. I love Peaches. So this show is a kid's show and let me tell you i saw it on netflix i saw the little preview it kind of reminded me of like mysteries at the museum and indiana jones and so i was intrigued i decided you know i don't care if it's a kid's show i'm gonna watch it and i did and i really really liked it so we're gonna unbox these today take a look at it and uh i'm gonna tell you a little bit about the show it is on netflix and it is it is actually <laughs> It's quite, quite the show. Um, I, I like the idea of it, and I thought it was really, really cool. Um, it's got some representation. Fred is a non-binary bison. I found that intriguing. Um, I didn't know bisons, you know. I was like, a non-binary bison? I wouldn't have thought of that, because I don't generally, like, I'm like, they're animals. I don't generally give animals, like... I don't think to give them like orientations, but it was cool. It was cool. And it's definitely like very inclusive. Um, so I'm going to show you the Netflix, you know, page real quick and uh, we'll talk about that. Hello. So I do apologize. It's it's been like a little bit um, since I filmed the first part of this video. I came down sick. I'm like stuffy nose and cough and everything but that's okay we're still gonna do our ridley jones unboxing i took some uh medicine and i'm feeling a little better you know uh it's the season to be jolly no it's the season of colds though seriously people um definitely make sure you're washing your hands using some hand sanitizer because Getting sick is so easy this time of year here in Maine. Now, I would like to thank Jamar Cuss 2 xl for following me over on Twitch. Thank you so much. This video will be t posted on my Twitch as well as on YouTube for, for those of you who prefer different platforms. Um, but anyways, I pulled up Netflix so we can get like started. This is Ridley Jones, um, as you can see. Uh, I've got the sound off. <laughs> this is uh, the little bison. <laughs> little, little, uh, little bison. I love like the dodo bird in season one. Um, oh my goodness. But the he's a non-binary bison, which I, I don't know. I thought that was interesting because like I don't give sexual orientations to like animals. So I guess for me... <laughs> It was a unique part of the show, and they incorporated, like, non-binary people, people who are gay, just really inclusive so well that you didn't really even notice it too much into the show. Like, there was one song about Ismat, the little mummy girl, having, like, two dads, but um, overall they did well. Um, the monkey here is Peaches. Ridley's got, like, the little hat on. Um, now, the show is kind of like a mixture of Indiana Jones and um, Mysteries at the Museum. I remember loving the Mystery Mu Mysteries at the Museum movies. Uh, those are over on Disney+. Plus, and I loved them as a kid. And um, so basically, Ridley Jones, she's the protector of the museum. She goes on missions and quests. The museum um, like artifacts come to life, kind of like in Mysteries at the Museum. And... Uh, Ridley Jones' mom and grandmother work at the museum, and it's just a really cool, unique storyline, so don't be afraid to, like, you know, uh, check that out. Um, I, I was very intrigued by it, so I think you might be as well. I don't think I'm the, I don't think I'm the only one who would be intrigued, um, like I said, it was so nice, and they talk about, like, feeling different, like, the dodo bird, um, who was kind of at the corner of this package, his, he's basically one of his kind, his, his species is, is extinct, 
Um, and he, um, he kind of feels alone, and they talk about that. You know, he wants a family. He wants friends. He doesn't want to be alone. He wants to be like others, and they basically tell the little dodo bird they're his family, and I was, like, tearing up over this kid show. I just watched it because it looked interesting. I was intrigued by the trailer, and I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going for it. I'm watching it. And then I had to buy the figurines to unbox. Um, so it's a really good Netflix show. I think it's a good way to, like, you know, it's very inclusive, so it's, like, a good way to teach kids about that. Like, People are people, and it doesn't matter their background or, you know, it doesn't matter, like, their orientation, what name they go by. They're people at the end of the day, and it matters what's on the inside and, like, are they kind? Are they good? Um, do they care about others? You know, like, not to, not to judge so much. So we are opening them all up. And I will show you guys each of the, the figures. They come out really easily. So here they are. We've got them out of the box. Um, oh my goodness, Fred, come on out. Fred is really not wanting to cooperate. Okay, there we go, Fred. This is Fred the non-binary bison. Um, I love that Fred's a little bison. I love her name. His name. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a her. Like, I don't know much about being non-binary. I'll be honest. Um, and if I say anything wrong, feel free to correct me kindly. I don't know. Does Fred go by them? They? I don't know Fred's pronouns. But um, Fred is really adorable. Um, I really like Fred. And then we have, if I can get peaches out, we have peaches, who is like the first monkey to go to outer space. Now, neither peaches nor Fred are articulated. We have this, there's this little like cardboard sign that basically said like Ridley Jones and friends. Um... Now, I got these on sale on Amazon for, like, $5. Um, I think they were, like, originally, like, 7 to 10 So, um, they're not, they're not sold for the price I originally got them on. Now, here is Dudley. I just want to make sure I say his name right. Dudley, the little dodo bird who, like, he feels alone and, you know, they all cheer him up. Then here is Ismet. Okay, we got Ismet. Now I gotta get Ismet's little crown. Ismet has the cutest uh, little little crown. It is a small piece, so like it is a choking hazard for younger kids. So definitely be uh, be careful. Um. But Ismed has two dads. Now, Ismed has a little bit of articulation at the shoulders and at the legs. It's not, like, the greatest. <coughs> it is, like, a little kid's toy, so I wouldn't expect it to be all that. She has, like, blue shoes, this little black skirt, like, little mummy wrappings, um, little brown eyes. It kind of reminded me of, like, a kid's version of, like, Monster High, too, in a way, because obviously Ismet is a mummy. <laughs> like, I was really intrigued. I like, like, mummies and, and ghouls and vampires and everything. And I, I really liked Ismet. Ismet is kind of, like, a little, little bossy in the show. She's a bossy girl, but uh, I liked her. Um, so let's see if I can get... Oh, Ridley came out super easy. So this is Ridley. Her hat can come on or off. Ridley has like a little braid. She's got these cute little bangs. She's got some articulation at the shoulders and at the la legs. And mine, the articulation is like a little, I don't know, it almost feels like a little like, it's not like moving very quickly, but I think as you kind of move her legs around a little more, they won't be so stiff. Um, but yeah, she's got, she's got a good like, little bit of articulation 
And I don't think kids are going to, like, fuss as much about the articulation for these small little figurines. They'll just be happy they have, like, Ridley Jones and her friends, you know? I plan on, like, maybe putting some of these in my mini brand's little store. I think that'd be cute. But I think a little Ridley Jones is adorable. She's got, like, some black shoes. They got purple on the bottom that matches her purple and like blue pants and like this like little teal shirt like a purple jumper I love her color scheme for her little figure um and she goes on like fun adventures they meet like a woolly mammoth and they meet all kinds of things and so I don't know I was so intrigued by the show um and I just I instantly like the characters are happy they're upbeat there's a lot of singing and like all of that and so like there's one part of the show that is about like making sure you get your facts right and why it's important to have your facts right and to fact check things and things like that like they teach some really cute lessons um that that are, I think are really nice um like for instance you'd have to watch the show to see it there's like this this little guy, the museum, made him up, and kids began to believe he was, like, real. But he was just, like, a like a little mascot. He was, like, the museum mascot. And he wants to be part of the museum again, but, like, he's a mascot that they created, that they made up. So he's, like, not, he's, like, false information, you know? Um, and he's, like, hurt that the museum got rid of him as a mascot. And so Ridley and her friends decide that they're going to help him out. And he can, you know, do like a little skit um, where he teaches kids about the importance of like checking your facts and all of that. So that was really cute. Um, I thought the Little Adventures was cute. There are four seasons currently and season five will be coming out um, in March 6th. So it's it's coming real soon. It's coming real soon. Um, and so it's really nice. It's a really feel-good show. Like, it's very upbeat. Um, there's this episode where Dodo wants to be, like, these eagles and wants to be able to fly, but Dodo birds can't, can't fly. Um, so that's, that's really cool. Um, then there's also the little dino. I'm kind of surprised they didn't give us the little dinosaur in these collectible figure set. Like, I would have liked him because he's a big part of the show. Um, the little, the little dino is. Because he's, he's one of the museum protectors with Ridley. Um, and his name's Dante and he rides this little skateboard and he, like, falls over. And I don't know. I just really thought the show was really cute. Um, and I, I think they would make any kid feel accepted no matter, like, what their background is, you know, and I think different kids could connect to different characters, like Peaches likes outer space. Peaches is actually, there was an episode where Peaches is afraid of heights, and they help Peaches get over Peaches' fear of heights, so that is really, was really good. Um, I'm probably, like, spoiling the whole show for you. I'll probably have to do, like, a disclaimer in the description. Show spoiler! Um... But no, there's some really cute episodes, and I I'm I have I'm glad I have the figures. I had some fun unboxing them. Um, I might give them to like my nephew or whatnot, or I might keep them. Who knows? Um, but I really really like them. I just think they're so cute. Look at little Ridley. Oh, and that braid. I love her braid and her like Indiana Jones style hat. Like, she is going out there to save the world. I love Esme's little crown, but I almost feel like they should have made the crown, like, I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, I almost think you shouldn't be able to take the crown off. But at the same time, as an adult collector, I'm very happy I can take the crown off and, like, maybe give Ridley the crown or, like, for, like, play aspects or give, uh as Matt Ridley's hat and things like that. Um, but on the other hand, these are for like a younger generation. So like this is definitely a choking hazard. Um, especially if you have like multiple kids and you have like an older kid and a younger kid, like I can see that being an issue. But I guess you could always like 
hot glue it or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. Get your super glue out. Um, yeah, and Esmet, I love her little, like, denim jacket and her skirt. Like, she's, she's a very modern mummy. She's a fashionable mummy. She's a mummy who wants the best of everything. Um, so I was really excited to get to open these with y'all. And let me know if you have watched the Ridley Jones show in the comment section down below. Uh, where the sun doesn't always shine. Because y'all know it don't always shine in them comment sections. Sometimes you get, like really really nice comments and that is awesome and I appreciate those other times you get like the one or two that aren't so nice and you're like eee, what did I do today um, <laughs> um nah most of the commenters I get are really nice people I want to thank Ren G161 who also followed me on Twitch thank you to the shadow underscore simmer 17 who followed me on Twitch and just a bunch of you um if I don't thank you right away, it's because I didn't see it yet. Uh, like I said, I've been sick. I'm suppo supposed to be resting. Um, I just take, like, Robitussin. And my mother's trick because Robitussin tastes awful. My mom gives me a lifesaver after <laughs> to, like, get the taste out of my mouth of the Robitussin. So I took the Robitussin, had my little lifesaver, and I'm supposed to be resting but I'm starting to feel like a little more like upbeat and energetic since I took the Robitussin like I can feel it cleaning out my nose I was sneezing up like ugh, gunk um but yeah I'm just really excited to be here with you guys today and I hope you're excited to see my happy shiny face I'm sorry if I didn't have a video for a little bit like I said I'm sick sick me um, I do have some Sims 4 custom content videos that I plan to be getting out. Hopefully we'll get more toy unboxings, more doll unboxings soon, because uh, I love to do that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I plan to go Valentine shopping for, like, my mom. I always do that. It's like a mom-daughter tradition. We get each other presents. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Valentine's Day. I really am. I did so many Valentine shorts that it's probably going to annoy you guys, but I was just having fun with it. Like, I am that person. I love the holidays. And it's so funny because when I was younger, I was one of those people, like, I dreaded the holiday seasons. Like, I didn't want to decorate. I didn't want to any of that. And now that I'm older, I'm like, let's decorate. Let's film them holiday videos, you know. I don't know. It's funny how things change. Um, but I hope you're all having a lovely day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. You want to say bye, Esmet, and wave your little arm? Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone.